Hello everyone and welcome to Black Star Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and in this video today we're going to be talking about some cool ways to get the most out of the tremolo effect built into your Black Star Amp 2. So all the tones you're going to be hearing in this video are coming directly from the Amp 2 that is on the desk in front of me. I am running straight out of the XLR output of this pedal straight into the front of my audio interface. So all my cabinet and room simulations are coming from cab rig that is built into the unit. So the tremolo effect lives in the modulation section. It is on the middle toggle of the three position switch. So tremolo is a guitar effect that lives in the modulation family. It modulates the volume of the guitar signal that you put in, in a rhythmic time-based way. So we can think of tremolo as being an effect that subtly just dips the volume, or we can use it to create some quite cool choppy guitar sounds. So we're gonna dial in a few different tones with the tremolo effect in this unit, and I'm gonna show you how you can use this in a couple of different situations. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you straight away the choppy side. So this is a more extreme tremolo effect. Now in the tremolo setting on the amp two, there's actually two different types of tremolo. Up to the halfway point, we have regular tremolo. This is a lot more extreme and this sort of a harsher cutoff and start point for each of the notes. Then when we get past midnight, we go into a harmonic tremolo. This is a little less extreme, it's more pulsating and the waveform is a lot smoother. So harmonic tremolo actually sets us a little bit more in the ballpark of a rotary speaker type effect. It doesn't sound exactly like a Leslie style rotary speaker, but it's the same sort of principle. We get the same sort of pulsating movement, again, like a uni vibe, for instance. So we're gonna be looking at the regular tremolo to start with, and I'm gonna set this as high as I possibly can. So I'm gonna actually have this on 10. So that's right at the cusp of the control there. The time I'm gonna set quite slow. I'm gonna set that on two, but I will move that when I'm playing just so you can hear the difference because I want the slow effect to be really pronounced at first. And the level I'm gonna have on full because I want the maximum amount of the tremolo effect. So without the tremolo on, I'm using this clean tone. <laughs> So that's completely clean from the amp two, but the only thing I do have on is I've got a room reverb on, as you can see there on the unit. So when I turn the modulation on, we're now activating the tremolo, and it's gonna do this to the sound. So the reason I wanted to set the time very slow is so you could hear that obvious choppy effect. If I raise the time, it's gonna sound more like this. So that's a pretty choppy sound. It's great for textural guitar parts where you're just ringing a chord out. And if we push the time even further, we get in some really fast rhythmic ideas. So the time actually determines how fast that choppiness happens. With the depth at its maximum, we get the most amount of chop. If I push that down, we get less of that. Get more of a pulsating sound. The second thing I wanna show you is how to get some 60s uni vibe style sounds with the harmonic tremolo. So for this, I'm gonna set the harmonic tremolo on half, so five, and I'm gonna match the level at roughly the same point. So that works out at about 7.5 on the scale. And then the time I'm once again gonna set quite slow to start with. With the harmonic tremolo, because it doesn't have that hard cut and start point, this is a much smoother tremolo effect. So it sort of pulsates gradually as it goes up and down. Sounds a bit like this. Now this one is really cool with some drive because we get into some 60s Jimi hendrix -y style lead tones. Yeah. 
That pulsating effect is very reminiscent of a Univibe type circuit. We can obviously make that faster and we can increase the depth. <laughs> And that gives us a bunch of different flavors to play with. If we set that on maximum like this, we have quite an extreme harmonic drum. <laughs> That really takes us away from that more subtle 60s thing. So if you want that Hendrixy vibe, you definitely want to sit more around the sort of five to six to even seven on the depth control with a slower time. You don't want the time too fast because you don't want that really choppy effect. <laughs> And the third way I'm going to show you how to use this is a subtle lean tone. So I'm going to set the time at around about six and a half, but the depth control, I'm going back to the regular tremolo here, that's going to be very, very subtle. So that's just going down on one, and then I'm going to have the level of this about three and a half, because again, we don't want too much of this tremolo effect. We just want this to subtly make the clean tone shimmer. So without the tremolo, it sounds like this. And then with that on, we're going to get the same clean tone, but we're going to get this little pulsating sound alongside it. That is a little bit more reminiscent of an amp based tremolo where we get this warmer pulsating style tremolo that isn't quite a harmonic tremolo. Again, we can be more subtle with that if we want, we can set the time slower. So we get a slower pulsating effect. What you don't want to do with this kind of thing is go too fast. because that gives you a much more extreme sound. The depth is really key here because we want as little of that tremolo in as possible. The time you can just set to your own taste and then the level, this shows us how much of that we get. So if that's higher, it becomes a bit more choppy with kind of like a fade in. But again, because we're going for a more subtle amp style tremolo, we want that level lower because we're just blending a bit of the effect in with our clean sound. So tremolo is a great rhythmic modulation effect. It can create some really cool textures, but it can also be used for some really nice subtle sounds as well. If you're playing with a drummer, you definitely want to be aware of your speed of your tremolo because you don't want this to go offset with whatever the drummer's playing. So it can be quite a hard effect to really dial in sometimes because you really need that to lock in with the rhythm of whatever you're playing. But there's a lot of fun to be had with tremolo. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite songs or riffs that use tremolo are. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to the Black Star Amplification YouTube channel because there's a bunch more videos just like this one on the channel. And don't forget you can check out the other videos where we talk about the other effect types inside the Amped 2. If you're looking for a guitar teacher in your local area, please head over to musicteacher.com. Check out the Music Teacher database over there. There's a great network of teachers all around the country waiting to help you guys out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.